Hey, hey everyone. So I have a fun project to put together. It's actually a three in one, and it will be using the awesome collection from Amy of Little Lamb Paper Company, and it is called 24 seven. I'm excited to be using Amy's designs again. I am back on her team, and I will be making hybrid projects with her um, awesome creations. So this project is gonna, like I said, show you three projects. Two are very simple. These are very simple projects. One six by eight, one six by eight, and this one is a double page six by eight. And I just, I know they're all six by eight. I may use this kit again. I will definitely probably use this kit again to make Traveler's Notebook or another spread. But I just wanted to show you how this awesome kit with all the different colors and the different word art and stamps and different pieces can be used to make different projects. It really is such a versatile, versatile kit. So let's get started. I'm gonna start with the super simple pages first and then I will do the double page. So let's get started. So this first little six by eight page I have is a cute photo of my kids enjoying the decoration change in front of our window. I always change the decorations for different seasons and they absolutely love it and look forward to it. So I just pulled out the reds, oranges, and yellows in the kit to put this page together super quick. I used the tag and I covered up the little word art that was above the white journaling. So that way, I, I don't know, remember what it said, but it said something that I didn't want. So I covered it up and I'm gonna add on a little word strip that says today's details. And I also have love this and I also cut out routine to go with the yellow matting behind the photo of my kids. I'm gonna pop dot the love this and also the routine because this is definitely part of our routine and the kids look forward to it like I said. I went looking for some embellishments and I found some super old color cast design pumpkins and the um, LA Studio October wood veneer piece. And I'm also just gonna journal about my kids enjoying the decoration change and just how much they look forward to it. And I'm almost finished with that and then this page will be almost done. Super simple, super easy, but I love this page and I had to document this little story of my kids enjoying the decorations. There we go, now I'm gonna finally put that October on. And then I pulled out some super old Ellie Studio Puffy Hearts, or not Puffy Hearts, sorry, um, circles. And I pulled those out and I'm just gonna use those to sprinkle on a little bit and then the page will be done. And this little page will go in my kids album. There we go, it's done. Now I will move on to making a simple page to start the March section in my Me album. And I will be using a four by six template that was in the kit that I will clip in a piece of paper. That's the 24 seven blue paper. And I will add on the Friday and the pink paper as well. So as you can see for this little simple page, I pulled out the blacks, the blues and the pinks and just use those colors. And this was kind of like a, not a rough day, but I decided to kind of do a reset in the middle of the day and take a shower. So I'm just documenting how my adulting game is on point, as they say. So I'm just journaling about that right now and how even after having kids for so many years, just a shower just helps sometimes just to do a little self-care. So I'm just gonna write about that and then I'm gonna go find some embellishments to add to the page. I am gonna wind up using enamel dots, that's just my go-to, running low on them. But I also had this little pink circle and I wanted to put it on and I didn't know where to put it on, but eventually I'm just gonna not use it because I couldn't figure out where I wanted it to go. So here comes the enamel dots. I used a bunch of feature craft ones, and then I also pulled out some from my stash, and I just used those 
to accent my page. So there we go, I'm just gonna put those on and then another simple quick page will be done because I pulled out a different color scheme from this kit. So there we go, it's done. All right, so this is the last spread and I actually wound up using just the striped paper. So basically all the colors because I had so many different types of photos of my kids and I. This is another spread that will also go in the mom and kids album where I document photos of my kids and myself. I did this for 2018 and I'll probably do it again in 2020 because um, I'm still working on 2018, but this is for our June every day where I just took the photos of us in June and my favorites and I had them printed out at Persnickety and now I'm just going to put them together in this spread to kind of document our lives in June. I'm just trying to figure out where exactly I want to put the photos. I didn't have the page protector out at that point. My page protectors are a mess. Sometimes they just... I cannot keep them organized. And then I also made several two by two cards with the kit. I made a yellow one and then I had currently on it. And I also fussy cut some word art right now and daily life and the six. And for two of the two by two cards, I added on tags, one that said routine and then one that said red, well, not said red, sorry. One that was the red tag that you've seen before in the first project. And now I'm adding on a little circle. I think that's meant to be a digital flare. So I'm just adding that. And I'm gonna add the love this. And then I decided to add a little strip of the striped paper on the bottom of the photo. I thought that would be a fun visual interest element to add to the page and also a nice foundation piece for my right now to rest on. So that's why I decided to add it in. Oops, can't get those foam dots to stay on. I tried a different brand of foam dots. Not a good idea. So I'm gonna put the daily life because that is totally our daily life. Crazy selfies. I think my son was wearing pants, I'm not sure, but there you go. Daily life is crazy. I'm gonna add another little flare, but um, I want to say button, but flare to the photo of me and the kids being silly. And then I'm just pointing to the out because the embellishments that I'm using on here from Ellie Studio are retired, so they're not in the shop. So I just wanted you to know that. And so I'm just adding in a bunch of stars from there and just trying to use up my stash. And then I use this, that yellow star and I'm like, oh, that yellow doesn't match. So I had to rip it off and put a different yellow. So I'm almost done with the spread and I love how it came together. It's such a fun representation of my life with my kids and <clears throat> adding in the old Ellie's studio made me happy because <laughs> it's using up old stuff. But I love how the spread came together and just I love documenting my kids and I. And I really hope that you enjoyed seeing this kit used three different ways. I would love a thumbs up or a subscribe if you're new to my channel. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.